on the road with Roxanne. It's Roxanne. I'm out at Nukes for their grand opening ribbon cutting ceremony. It's going to be a fun day of festivities. Not only are we going to see the ribbon be cut, but Big Brothers and Big Sisters is here, and they're giving 50% of their proceeds to them. A jar of roasted garlic on a table, and people would eat us out of house and home with that roasted garlic. And we do things like basil pesto and goat cheese, and there's a real strong focus on quality of food here. It's the pizza station. John rolls all of the pizza dough fresh every morning, and it smells amazing. I wish you could smell it, but look at that. He's got a couple more to go. Can you throw it up and like, do you do that? No. no. This is the salad station. Now, the cool thing about Nukes is they have it open, so you can sit at your seat and see them making your salad. It's one of these bowls to prepare, and they have almost everything under the sun. It's all fresh and delicious. Here's my favorite part. When they're done with your salad, they put it in a chilled bowl, and you'll notice them. They're so chilled, they're even frozen together. So you get it nice and cold and ready to go. Yum. My passion is customer service, and the cool thing about Nukes is we're very, very consistent with our food and with our service, so when people come in here, they're actually getting a great price point, about 10 to $12 for their meal, but it's the whole experience that they're going to experience as well. It's a legendary round table. It's a complimentary condiment bar, so we have capers, we have fresh Parmesan cheese, pepperoncinis, we roast our own garlic. This is a sandwich oven right here, and as you can see, the sandwiches roll out of here. Oh, and you know like when the bread is like toasty and yummy? cheese is like easy. It looks amazing and I know it's going to taste even better. I'm thinking of stealing it. Coming to Nukes today is that they are benefiting Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Austin. 50% of the proceeds are going to them and these are our Big Brother and Big Sister ambassadors. Really your brothers, Big Brother and Little Brother. And what's your name? Marco. Marco and you are? Peyton. Peyton, how old are you? 13. 13. And how long have you had Marco as a Big Brother? Two years. Uh, well, we see a lot of movies together. What's the last movie you saw? Jail. You went to jail? Um, yeah, that one time. No, no, no. Medea goes to jail. Oh, Medea goes. I'm like, yeah. you went to jail? Well, that's different. Yeah. We saw the movie. That's the Tyler Perry movie. Uh -huh, yeah. yeah, he went to see that one. Awesome. You'll be brothers for how long? Uh, we will be uh, big brother, little brother. Uh, you know, forever. You know, we will, you know, our relationship doesn't have to end when Peyton's too old to be in a program. Um, so it's a relationship. Is this your first brother in the program? Yes. What made you get involved in it? I got involved in the program because I had mentors, uh, you know, when I was growing up, you know, people that, uh, men especially, that made a positive impact on me. And uh, when I, you know, became an adult, you know, I, I recognized the need even more. And uh, just based on my background. Uh, well, and you're a black male. Exactly. I have a nephew. I worry about him. He's four, and I'm already like, oh, my gosh, please grow up and be okay. Exactly. And that's what I was just going to, to, to hit on. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I'm, oh. you know, from the inner city of Detroit. So, um, you know, I saw, you know, uh, friends around me that, you know, that took uh, some directions in life that weren't too favorable. And, uh, you know, when I became older and, and was able to understand the reasons behind that, um, I wanted to do something like uh, mentor a uh, young man like Peyton here. Who has perfect posture, I should add. Right. <laughs> and doesn't say much. Right. I'm in karate. <laughs> oh. It's Nukes. Nukes is located in the Arboretum next to Saks Fifth Avenue. You don't want to miss it because you're missing, like, the best thing on the block.